All right. Battery is on. And right up here. Oh, somebody left the avionics on. Okay, we'll turn that off. Don't need all that. Anyway, you see the flashing annunciator. That's the fuel computer. When it's on the ground and you turn the master on and it's flashing, it means it's full and it needs to be downloaded and uh, reset. So I'm going to do that today. So now I have the computer interface cords plugged into the computer COM ports. And they are plugged into the engine computers. Now that the computer is hooked up to the aircraft, I now run the engine interface program from Honeywell and now I'm ready to download. Now it's looking at the computers and we'll see if the uh, hookup really works. I know it works. Back at my desk. And they say that I need to check for loose connections. So I have to take off this panel here and this panel here and probably the one in front of it and check the wiring. You can picture that because you want to replay it in slow motion and watch it pop snap into pitch. When we do this, we one eternity later. It's hard to tell from here, but it's... What are you doing, moving around? Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's not good. We're, we're good to go. Just, look Just bring those beers back out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the next flight, or the next several flights. The replacement of the ITT harness absolutely fixed. The ITT fault problems, so that, that's repaired. Good job.